Watch out with you for today's video with a full Don Fan forms and evolution team. We have got Don Fan, Fanfi, Iron Treads, and Great Tusk. These Pokemon are pretty cool, and the thing about them, they were all ground types as well, so it was a pretty nice challenge to use these four Pokemon on a single team. If there are any other Pokemon forms or evolutions you'd like to see from Generation 9, please let me know in the comment section of the video. I'd love to see everyone's suggestions. Uh, this is a battle against, uh, it was Keep and Nastra, I think. These battles are all done on the Wi-Fi today. I've got five of them, so lots of battles, and I want to spoil you people for all your uh, love and support so far on the channel. Channel. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I've got a Fanfi lead here, and we've got a Meow Scarlet. It's going to be going for a Protein U-Turn. Now, this Fanfi lead was actually pretty cool. We've got Focus Sash as the item. I've got Sand Veil as its ability. We've got Endeavor, Eye Shard, Protect, and Fissure. Max Speed, Jolly Nature, and Max Attack. So obviously, you want to be getting the Pokemon to take a big hit putting you on one health, and then you can go for Endeavor. So this is pretty funny, because the opponent in the uh, team preview actually had a couple of the Pokemon that I had on my team. Unfortunately, I got I got the Endeavor on the uh, the Iron Treads, right? But you wouldn't read about it. They were carrying a Rocky Helmet, so little Fanfi is going to be fading, unfortunately. So I thought, all right, it's time to swap in my Iron Treads here. I've got that Quark Drive. I've got that boost in speed, so we're going to be able to outspeed this easily. So I've got Iron Head, Ice Spinner, Terra Blast, and I've also got Earth. Earthquake. Now, this was a max speed, max attack set. I want to get the Quark Drive on its speed. It's actually a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty decent Pokemon. I know a lot of people like Iron Treads or they like Great Tusk. It seems like a 50 50. Next Pokemon is going to be Don Fan. Yo, if anyone actually does battle me as well when I try out these teams online, please let me know in the comment section. I always like to know if I battle any of my viewers and stuff like that. So we got a, uh, a little uh, Terra here. And uh, this, I was thinking, well, this is going to be a tough Pokemon to actually paint here because it's pretty bulky and it's got a lot of attack. This is going to be a Terra fighting here. It's got that big fist on the top of its head. Now, I don't have lots to hit. This was certainly nothing to one shot. I went for Ice Spinner due to the weakness of ground, but obviously now they're a fighting type. It's going to do nothing. So this is going to be a Terra close combat, and there's no way I'm living that. No way, Jose. So that's the end of that. Now, the next Pokemon I could bring in here, I could bring in... Don Fan, or I could bring in my own great Tusk. I'd love to bring in Fanfi, but Fanfi is uh, you know, resting in peace in those uh, little rocky helmets. So we're going to go with the Don Fan. It's a Pip Knight special. <laughs> it's a special set. So I've got uh, Earth Power, Terra Blast, Angel Power, and Hype Boys. Now, we'll say I actually changed my mind on this move set on a couple of these Pokemon here, but I'll explain that set. So the uh, Great Tusk is going to go for a Great Tusk. It's like a Mega Horde, and I'm going to go for a Earth Power here. So this is a Hyper Voice. Throat Spray set. I've got Throat Spray, Sturdy as the ability, Ancient Power, High Voice, Terra Blast, and Earth Power. Max Special Attack, Modest Nature, and Max Health. Uh, now the Great Tusk is going to go for a massive close combat, and I get Critical Hit too. So there's no way I'm going to be living that. So I've got one more Pokemon left, and of course, it's going to be the Great Tusk. This is a physical set as well. We've got Headlong Rush. Close Combat, Iron Head, and Terror Blast. I've got Booster Energy uh, as the item as well. So we want to get that boost in attack. So I've got Terra Steel on here. You're probably wondering I've got Terra Blast and a higher Head. I kind of changed my mind on this moveset, so that's why I've got both of them. I'd probably just stick another coverage move on there like uh, Fire Fang. So I did that on a couple of my Don fans. I sort of changed the movesets up as I was doing the battles. So we got the uh, Great Tusk swapping out there. They did have a drop in the defenses, so I know that's why they're doing that. I'm going to be going for a Terra here, and we're going to be going into a Terra Steel. Now, Terra Steel Iron Head is actually pretty nice because... If you get, obviously, if you go first, you get a good chance of uh, getting a flinch there. And this thing uh, also getting rid of that ground type too. So Meow Scarlet is going to come back in it. It's going to take a pretty powerful hit from Terra Blast. I think Terra Blast is really cool. It's like you know, a more convenient hidden power because it's not only uh, special, it's special and physical, you know? So uh, it's going to do a very small amount of damage to me there. Going for a U-turn. I can see it's got Life Orb as well, so... That really can't do a lot of damage to me. Otherwise, it would have done it already. Last Pokemon here, other than, the, of course, the Great Tusk, is going to be the uh, Tinkerton. Oh, it's a, it's a shiny one, that uh, the hammer, actually. is It's like a, uh, a brown 
a kind of brownie red color. So go for the Tetra Blast here on the uh, Terra Blast. I did that. Okay, I want to say this too. I don't mean it when I say Tetra. I'm not actually doing that on purpose. I just It's sort of like a slip of the tongue. But that won't stop people roasting me in the comment section. You know, there was just people today that like, in your ex, like, um, uh, inverted commas, Tetra. Like, Pip Knight's paying Tetris and all this sort of stuff. Like, roast me. Anyway, so next Pokemon is going to be Don Fan or Star Don Fan. I'm going to go for the headlong rush there. I faint it, which is really good. Now, there's only one more Pokemon left, and that's the Meow Scarter from earlier on. And it only has, like, one health. So they pretty much got one attack to try and faint me there. I've got to say that Shiny does uh, look pretty cool, too. I don't know which one I actually prefer more. I think I actually I think I might like Iron Treads a little bit more. Kind of looks like a tire. Now the last Pokemon is the Grinch. Actually a really good name there. Grinch. It actually quite looks like it. It's gonna go for a Thunder Punch and it is gonna be fainting itself. I just had way too much bulk there uh, to be able to faint there with a, just a, a normal neutral damage. Thank you for the battle. I thought it was Keeper there. Or it was yeah, it's Ke almost said Kirby. Keeper Nastra, thank you for the battle there. Let's get on to battle number two. This is the battle against uh Nace. And uh, this might be a nice battle. So this battle here, I believe, was a 4v4. Now, some people brought six Pokemon along. Some people brought four. I, obviously, I didn't expect the opponents to bring four. You know, it's my choice to bring that. So we've got this uh, Fanfi lead here. Now, I've got to say, if, like, probably not every single battle. Most of the battles, there was like, a Meowth Scarlet League with Flower Trick. Like, nearly, I'd say, one out of th three battles had this as the lead. It was crazy. Like... I, I, I kind of think that Quack Quavel with Moxie is like a, a way more of a threat than this Pokemon. I know that it's got protein, but I know it's just interesting. So here comes the Flower Trick here on the little Fanfy. I can simply go for my Endeavor strategy this time. And hopefully, you know, Meow Scarlet doesn't have a rocky hell, you know what I'm saying? So I've got that Focus Sash there. And now I can go for the Endeavor, which is great. So the Endeavor Eye Shard combination, I got so many people with this. Like, so many people. I even had a couple of people Rage Quit as well. So that's a nice little early lead for me there. I was actually sort of hoping I could outspeed the next Pokemon. But then I was like, oh, no. Speak of the devil, here's Quack Quavel, and it's going to go for an Aqua Step. Like, okay, that's very, very bad. If I don't outspeed this Pokemon this turn or manage to live with the attack, this is going to be an easy-peasy sweep. So they're going to have the uh, plus one in attack and plus one in speed there. So a very dangerous Pokemon. Now we're going to go into Iron Tread. So Iron Tread does have the boost of energy. And this is why I gave it Jolly Nature Ball. Because that's going to boost my speed. So uh, Quack Quavel isn't, you know, it's not like blisteringly fast. It uh, can be outsped. And now I've got a plus one in speed. So I was like, you know what? Let's go for the uh, Terra Electric type here. And that should be really cool. So I'm going to go for Terra Blast Electric. This I found was actually a really good type of Terra to run on it because a lot of people would bring in oh I'll just bring in you know a water type Pokemon you get them oh I'll just bring in a Gyarados and set up Dragon Ants do 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 you know but then you wreck them with uh, you know one Terra it works so many times work really well so maybe consider that when you are using Iron Treads now I will say this too I got a Iron Tread sweep and I also got another sweep as well um, it was from yesterday's same team it was the it was a form scene yes I did get a sweep from it was still a, a slither a sliver wing or slither wing I'm not sure how to say it. but uh, yeah I one of those two Pokemon I got a, uh, a sweep with so the next Pokemon here is going to be Gardevoir it's going to get wrecked by Iron Head the last Pokemon is Dracafu I think that's a I think that's a German name for Charizard I, I believe it I, I I think I got it right this time so anyway people we got a Dragon uh, Terra Charizard this might be the one they got from uh, the actual raid recently. Actually, and then that raid with the Terra Charizard, I got like two ability patches in one roll. It was like really, really cool. So going for my electric type move there, my Terra Blast. That was a good Terra for my opponent because they resisted my electric type move. And now they're going to go for a Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is not going to faint me, but it does do a sizable amount of damage. So spinning up that Ice Spinner and the Charizard lives on like one health. The merch is available. And on top of that, just to make things a little bit more salty, it ate a Citrus Berry. I wouldn't have uh, you know, picked it to have a uh, Citrus Berry. Anyway, Charizard's going to go for its Terra Dragon Pulse again. And that is going to be the end of my Iron Tread. So I've got two more Pokemon left. I've got my special Don Fan. 
And I've also got great tusks. Now, someone was telling me this in uh, my members chat the other day. They're like, what happens if you went to like McDonald's and you went to the drive-thru and you were like, can I please have a Pimp Night special? What would their reaction be? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should try. Now, we've got this uh, Charizard outspeeding me, of course, because this Don Fan is uh, Max Health Max Special Attack. And I take it pretty well, considering. Now, Don Fan is uh, going to be going for Earth Power here. Earth Power on Charizard. And that is enough to actually take it out, which is awesome. And that my friends, is the second battle with the Don Fan form scene. Now, this next battle, this this battle might make you a little bit salty. It certainly made me salty. Uh, the next battle here we have, this is battle number three. This is a battle against uh, uh, Franklin, uh, Benjamin Franklin. And uh, we got a Meow Scardily. Wow, I've never seen a Meow Scardily in my life. It's so so what I'm going to be doing here is starting off with Fanfi. You know the drill. Uh, you know the rules and so do I. And they tear it on the first set. I'm like, what the heck? They're tearing against like a Fanfi? So this is going to be a, uh, a grass terror uh, uh, Meow Scudder, which isn't a bad play. They probably expect it like a ground type move. And they can see my entire team is ground types, you know, all the Don Fan family. So here comes the flower trick, of course, there again. And now I can easily go for my little Endeavor straight here too. So it's awesome. I wish our uh, Fanfi actually got it sturdy. That'd be uh, kind of nice there. But uh, it's got uh, Sand Veil and Pickup. It's... Not only to get to a Don fan, then it gets the sturdy ability, which is a bit unfortunate. So now I'm going to go for the Endeavor there. Meow Scudder's on one health, and we're going to play them like a fiddle. So that's a very, very good start to the battle. Not only do they burn up their terror against a troll set, um, you know, I got I got, a, I got a KO with it too. So that's uh, that's like the cherry on top, you know. Next Pokemon's going to be Palafin. This Pokemon is broken. Um, I, I'm guessing they're just going to go for a flip turn or just finish me off here. And they're going to go for a jet punch. That's the end of Fanfi. But a solid performance from Fanfi there, you know. It most of the time netted me at least one KO. Uh, next Pokemon we're going to bring in is going to be Iron Treads. Now, I wasn't sure. I, I actually, I'll be honest, I was trying to bait them to stay in and go for a water type move. So I went in for the, uh, the Iron Treads and got the Quiet Drive boosting my speed. Then I went for the Terra Blast here, uh, tearing me into an Electric type. And I was hoping, I hope this stays in. And if it does, I outspeed it and one shot it. That was my plan anyway. I was trying to uh, execute it. So getting that big, I like how it's a big light bulb. It's like a galaxy brain terror. Uh, we're going to go for that terror blast, outspeeding the Palafin, which is really cool. And now I'm hoping for a KO here, and it doesn't get it. It's just too bulky, unfortunately. Now they're going to go for the close combat. Close combat is going to do nothing. And the item the Palafin's got here is going to be uh, a jet pack. So obviously they did that on purpose. They gave it a jet pack. So when they got their drop in stats from close combat, it automatically swapped them out. And then when they swap it back in, they'll get zero to hero. And that's going to be difficult to deal with. So watch this. Ready? I'm going to go for Earthquake on Sarah Lucia. I was like, okay, they've got a focus, uh, focus sash, right? You wouldn't read about it. They had another focus, but another focus band, Sarah. I think that happened like a day or two ago. I'm like, why are they running this item? And more importantly, why did it activate? So now they're going to go for a sword dance. They've got a sword dance and a weak arm. I'm like, uh oh. I outspeed thanks to my uh, booster energy, and that's going to be the end of Sarah Lynch there. That was. That was close. That could have been real nasty real quick there. So that's two Pokemon down. Next uh, Pokemon's going to be Mimikyu. This Pokemon's just a Snorfest. I'm, I'm sick of seeing it. So going for the uh, Scumbag Iron Flinch there. I hope I can get it on the Mimikyu, then follow it up with another one. Uh, Mimikyu, you wouldn't read about it, right? It's going to go for a Sword Dance. Watch this. Like, watch this. You can't make this up. So Mimikyu, right, goes for a play rough, and they got a Quick Claw. They got Focus Band to activate, and they got Quick Law to activate right when they needed it. The good thing is I managed to live that just due to it being a neutral attack bet. That play, remember that play right there? That play there changed the entire course of this battle. Now I'm in a low amount of range for Palafin to finish off with a Jet Punch, right? That wasn't a problem. Palafin would not have been able to swap in there with a Jet Punch and finish me off there. I would have, you know, uh, one shot of that Mimiku, easy peasy. So that right there changed the entire course of the battle. Like, you know, uh, the Palafin would have fainted to that easy. They wouldn't have been able to bring it in. So bringing the Don Fan here, uh, they're going to go for a Jet Punch here. I live that just, you know, Don Fan, Max Elf, Max, uh, Max Special Attack there. It's pure bulk, allowed me to fight out the uh, Palafin. But yeah, that was a massive, massive play. There's some crazy luck. So that's four Pokemon down. Our next Pokemon is going to be Dragonite. This is a great counter for my team. Um, I don't have Ice Spinner at the moment. I go you know, with Special Don Fan. You really, really 
uh, you really struggle to do any forms of damage. When you look up special Don Fan, uh, you'll know. So going for the Ancient Power there, hoping it's not like the usual boring weakness policy set. And it's not going to be weakness policy, it's going to be leftovers. When I seen the little activation, I was like, oh, here we go again. It's a thousand you know, uh, weakness policy Dragonite that's easy to use. So Dragonite's going to go for extreme speed. That is not going to be enough to actually fight me. And I managed to get another Ancient Power boost off there. Uh, not a boost, an uh, attack. I'd love to get a boost, you know. That'd be cra uh, crazy. So Dragonite now is going to go for yet another uh, extreme speed here and finish off my Don Fan. All I've got left is Great Tusk. Now, Great Tusk is going to get a plus one in attack here. But I, the problem is I don't have anything to like really powerful to use against Dragon. I've got a uh, headlong rush, which is going to do nothing. I've got close combat. That's going to do nothing. Terror Blast, well, that's going to do nothing. And I've got Iron Head, which is, you know, virtually going to do nothing as well. Uh, the Dragonite turned out actually here to be a special mix set, and that is going to take me out one shot there. I would not have lost that battle if that Mimiku didn't get quick lore. I would have won that battle easy peasy. Franklin, go buy yourself a lot of ticket, and let's get some salt in the comment section. But seriously, that's how it goes sometimes. You can play a perfect battle but still end up losing. Uh, next battle here, this one is against uh, Sen, I think it is, and we got a Esparth Elite. I actually, I would like to do a uh, video on Esparth. I have to have a look at it. Uh, pretty interesting Pokemon with uh, you know quite good stats and ability. So Esparth is going to go for a Calm Mind here. Now, this turn, I actually was going to go for Protect, but I ended up going for Endeavor. Now, unfortunately, this is probably going to give my strategy away. They... They probably can uh, probably predict that I've got a Focus Ash or some sort of like fear set. So Spartha is going to be swapped out there and in comes Sizzler. Okay, yup, they definitely know what I'm doing here. So this is pretty interesting. So I went for Protect this turn to see what the attacking move they were going to do, but they swapped, so that's going to fail. Now Sizzler's going to go for a Technician double hit. Now Fairfi only just lives that. Uh, it was pretty funny, so I managed to get off a Endeavor here. So I was like, okay, that's I guess that's better than nothing. Sizzler's going to back that up with a Bullet Punch there, and Fairfi is going to faint. I actually went for an Ice Shard that turn. I actually almost considering went for a Terra Ice set. That's what I had. My, my Terra was Ice on that set. So we're going to slide into Iron Treads or roll into Iron Treads. I'm going to get that uh, boost of energy there, increasing my speed. Now, there's not a lot that Scissor can really do in this matchup, so I had to figure they'd either sack it or swap it out, maybe leave it later on for, I don't know, like a, a bullet punch or something like that. Swing comes the Espeon here. Espeon is on an Espeonage mission. I went for the Earthquake here, and uh, people are saying Earthquake doesn't look good in this game. What do you think, though? Do you like the animation of Earthquake, or do you think it could be better? I don't know. I'm trying to, like, the, I don't know. Maybe it should be, there should be a lot more stones than that, or, like, rocks underneath. It should be, like, the entire screen, you know? Uh, maybe something like that. I'm trying to think. So that's the end of uh, SP on there. Now, Scissor's going to come back in here. Clearly, they can't do much with Scissors. They're just going to go for, like, a bullet punch and do, like, three damage and uh, sack it off. So I just went for Earthquake here. So I've taken out uh, Espeon and Scissors so far. So it hasn't been, a, hasn't been a bad battle so far. I've nearly evened up the score. Now, the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be the Sylveons. Like, right, I can go for... I can go for the Iron Head here. That'll do some good damage. But they're going to go for the Terra on the uh, Sylveon. And that is going to be a normal Terra. So they're like, okay, I know what they're trying to do. So that's pretty clever. What they're doing is going for a Pixelate. Uh, Pixelate set here. That still does really good damage with Iron Head. I don't get a flinch, and Hyper Voice is not going to be very effective uh, either, but uh, I can see they've got the Throat Spray. The only bad thing for them is I do outspeed them, and Iron Head is a two-hit KO. So Sylvia is kind of forced to swap out there. Uh, so I was thinking, what are they going to swap into this? Maybe Espartha, possibly, uh, to try and take this attack. So go for that Iron Head there. Espartha is going to be able to live that one. But I had speed them again with the uh, double Iron Head. So the uh, boost of speed really, really helps me out there. That's why I went for Jolly. Like, Jolly is really good on this Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be Iron Hand. So we've got two Iron Pokemon here. Uh, they've got the Quark Drive boost energy. So this Pokemon is no joke. It's got a lot of attacks. It's like, okay, we'll go for Earthquake. Let's see how much this does. I didn't expect the KO, and that, you know, that did about as much damage as I thought there. Uh, they're going to go for Drain Punch, which is a good play. It's going to be super effective, and it's also going to heal back the um, Iron Hands. Actually, I just saw this something. I could do a team with Iron Hands, Hariyama, and Makohita. That's pretty cool. 
Like, I, I want to do, like, all those types of themes. That'll be really, really fun. So, anyway, sorry. I had a little, uh, little bit of a, a brainstorm there. I'm going to go into the Don Fan. Unfortunately, I get outsped by the Iron Hands. I actually ended up going for the Earth Power here. Now, I, I bet they didn't expect a special Don Fan, and that's going to be enough to take out uh, Harry Arm, which is actually really cool. It probably did as much da nearly as much damage as what the Earthquake uh, from my uh, Iron Treads did, which is pretty funny. Next Pokemon's going to be Quagsire. Actually, matter of fact, I just thought of something then. I can do a Wooper, Quagsire, and uh, Clodsire, and, uh, and Paldea Wooper team. That has to happen, right? That's got to happen. I'm thinking up these amazing ideas on the spot right now. I've got like a, another list of things I've been thinking up. So Quagsire's going to set up a Toxic Spikes, which is not a bad idea there. And uh, I'm going to hit it with a, uh, a headlong uh, rush there. And now they're going to go for a Haze, getting rid of my special attack drops. I was like, okay, that sucks. I just went for Earth Power. Maybe they went for Recover that turn. I don't really know. But I imagine that Quagsire probably did have Recover. So I'm glad to get around that. Now, the last Pokemon is going to be Sylvia. Now, I should be able to fake Sylveon here or get very close. However, Sylveon is going to finish me off with the high voice. No way Don Fan was living that. That's uh, you know, that's simply power with uh, Sylveon. Now, my last Pokemon here is going to be the Great Tusk. That's actually, you know what? I think Great Tusk and Iron Treads both have. Both are cool looking Pokemon, you know? Uh, so what I'm thinking here as well, I could do like a, uh, this. you could almost do it. This is almost like an elephant team too. You almost is. If you put Copper Roger on this team and Qfin, that could be a full elephant team. You know what? I'll do that down the track. I, I, I will definitely do that. Maybe I've only just done this team, so I'll do the elephant team maybe next year, right? So I know a couple of people might have asked that already. So we'll do the elephant team next year. And at the start of the video, I'll um, I'll, you know, I'll try and make an elephant noise right at the start. It'll be amazing. So Sylveon's going to fight there to a... Um, that was to my Iron, uh, sorry, Terra Blast there, and that is going to be fading. And that is the end of the fourth battle. We've got one more battle left there. Uh, thank you, Sen, for the battle as well. And uh, nice job there getting around my Fanfy with double with double hit scissor. So we've got one more battle here. This is a battle I don't know who uh, this one is against. Maybe someone can translate. Actually, today was quite interesting. Normally, I've been versing a lot of Japanese players, but today it was like, uh, you, know, er you know, everyone else, right? So uh, we got a Miasca to lead here. Man, it's so many Meowth guys, and of course, we got a Flower Trick as well. It's crazy. I guess this uh, team really did bring out the Grass type Pokemon, but every single time, right, the opponent fell for the trap of the uh, the classic Pimp Knight Endeavor Ice Shard strategy. Now, I actually have done a Don Fan Sweet Level One with this strategy. So if you do want to check it out there, make sure you go, you know what? If anyone does check it out, if you're still watching, I'm going to give you a heart if you leave a comment there on the uh, the Don Fan level one sweep. So in comes Hariyama. I said Harry Mama, and I went for Fissure, but it missed there. And it's going to be the first Fairfi on the moon, and that's the end of Fairfi. Nice, uh, Hariyama as well. It's good to see Hariyama and uh, Iron Hands too. Makes me want to uh, use them again. So now we got a Don Fan sliding in. I was like, you know what? I've got a, a fairly good amount of Polk here. I feel like I might outspeed Hariyama. It's not exactly uh, in the fastest Pokemon in the world. And I can get that special attack boost and then maybe go... I was thinking, oh, maybe I should go for a Terra here. So another size of Dust. This seems like a support Hariyama, which is pretty interesting. I actually run a uh, support Hariyama a long, long time ago because it's got a lot of bulk. You know, you can do like... I think I did like rest, sleep, talk seismic toss and toxic or something like that it actually wasn't all that bad clearly had it counters but it was pretty fun to use so we're gonna go for the terra don fan normal type there i got that bling on my head there look at that and the uh, hariyama is gonna be fainting i bet i was quite surprised seeing that so we're taking out two pokemon next pokemon is gonna be tinker tong another tinker tong they're gonna outspeed me go for that gigaton hammer Don Fan is just simply thick, right? And it's going to be able to live that and take it out with a Earth Power. The thing about Tinker Tong, which is it's got its high base power move, right? But its attack is, it's really not all that good. Its attack stat is kind of bad. It really needs like a Sword Dance. Swing comes to the car. It's going to pop me with a Aura Sphere. And you know, special Don Fan. That was a quality performance there. Gold medal performance. I've got to say myself. So I've got two more Pokemon left. We've got a great Tusk here. Great Tusk and you know, definitely should be able to live this attack unless it you know, really, really hits me hard there. I'm going to go for a headlong rush there with plus one attack. It should be no worries taking out the Lakari. I outspeed the Lakari and that is the end of that. So there's one more. Sorry, there's two more Pokemon left. Now, this was a max speed, max attack set, Jolly Nature as well. It doesn't quite have the pace of Iron Treads, but it hits harder, you know. Uh, let's, uh, second last Pokemon is going to be Mudsdale. 
Now, this was a big hit right there. I actually got a critical hit right there. Unfortunately, when I was editing the battles, I cut it out. So that was a critical hit. So you're wondering. So Mudsnout is going to be fit. Uh, it's going to be gone. And the next Pokemon is a Salander. I'm like, what is going on here? They've terrored the Salander only on Pimnite Channel here. And it's going to be a, a Fire Salander. So like, okay, well... If this outspeeds me, I'm going to get roasty toasted. I really, really am, you know. But I'm hoping I outspeed it. I did outspeed the little Slandet. And, uh, you know, that, that's F's in the comment section for Slandet. And that is the end of all five battles. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. There's going to be a sweep later and some moveset guys coming up. Peace out, people.